everybody. It's Gwen from Proof of Africa. Today, we're going to continue our interview series. We have the chance to have Mercy, co-founder of WADA, West Africa Decentralized Alliance. How are you, Mercy? I am very well, Edmundo. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, I've been looking forward to this. It's, it's a real pleasure. So we're going to go directly to our questions. Uh, the first thing I would like to ask you is if you can tell us about, about you a little bit, about where you come from and all these kind of little things. Uh, okay. Um, well, so my name is Mercy. Um, I was born uh, in West Africa, um, in Ghana, uh, to be specific. Um, in a way, I, I sort of, uh, you know, represent how WADA is, you know, it's like a diaspora with 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 a big local uh, uh, footprint. Um, I, I grew up in in Ghana. I went to university in Ghana, you know. And when I graduated, I worked with um, an NGO, um, actually a conservation um, NGO. I had done natural resource management in in, in school, so um, you know at that time we were. Um, it's uh, you know spreading the the, the message of uh, conservation and uh, wildlife conservation and also forestry um, uh, uh, conservation. Um, you know I worked there for for a few years and then um, I, I left. Uh, I, I, as a family, we went to the UK. We stayed there for maybe about ten years. Uh, worked in healthcare and then uh, I went uh, to, to to Canada and you know. Still so, uh, worked in uh, uh, healthcare, and um, uh, yeah, um, uh, right now uh, I I do a lot of work with uh, quality improvement and uh, patient safety uh, uh, sort of stuff. Yeah, so that's me, you know, a, a local girl, but um, uh, also very much in the diaspora. Awesome. So yeah, actually, it's so you grew up in Africa, but then you had. To, to move uh, and to, to in several locations. Um, and I think that you are still having a link with, with Ghana, right? I have a lot of links. My family, uh, I still have family in, in Ghana. I still have uh, a lot of friends, you know, now because of uh, WhatsApp and all these social media uh, uh, platforms and networks that we have, um, you know, it's just... Uh, just lots of contact there, friends, uh, former co-workers and uh, former schoolmates and stuff like that. Yeah, so. So you are still still really connected to Africa. So, I am indeed, yeah. So my, my second question now we know a bit more about you is a bit more generic about uh, blockchain and why are you interested in, in blockchain, how you come to blockchain? And why is it uh, for you really important for Africa? Okay, so um, I got to know um, about Bitcoin um, in, in, in 2015. I didn't do anything with that until uh, about 20, late 2017, 2018. But um, as, I, as I got to know more about Bitcoin um, and what it, it brought, you know, uh, you know, the whole blockchain technology, I just realized that it's, you know, it's just a, a, a game changer, you know, in terms of it being, you know, a, a transparent, it's a, a, a disintermediate. So, which means that we, we don't know, we, we don't need a middleman in terms of uh, transactions. It's immutable, um, it's, it's, it's final. Um, so, you know, those, those kind of uh, properties that, um, you know, shows, uh, how you know we can remove uh, centralized power and control, and how we can you know do away with uh, a, a middleman or you know somebody might call them rent seekers, and sort of push uh, power to them. That you know this 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 is something that it's it, it's change you know it's 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 life changing it, you know it can it can change things for. For Africa, you know, when, when we talk about uh, pushing power to the edges, we know that you know, like Africa, we are we are just um, uh, Africa is, is far behind um, in terms of the edges. We are no nowhere uh, in the in, in the middle. 
um, lots and lots of natural resources. We are well endowed, um, but then, you know, because of, um, you know, people in the middle, you know, whether at the local level or at the international level, you know, people in the middle that determine what, um, you know, what kind of um, uh, produce goes to the market, what kind of, um, um, you know, what, what, what kind of money we get for our natural resources and all those things. Um, you know, we, 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 you know, we don't get the benefits of uh, the natural resources that we've been blessed with. You know, coming into Cardano, the reason that uh, I became uh, really, really interested in Cardano, I listened to a talk that uh, Charles Hoskinson, he's um, um, the CEO of IOHK, and um, uh, so, you know, IOHK, it, you know, creates um, uh, the Cardano protocol, and I, I heard um, a lecture that he gave um, it to uh, you know a group of people at the London School of Economics, and you know the things that he was talking about. You know he was talking about identity. He was talking about records keeping. You know he was talking about um, uh, bringing um, uh, uh, you know Africa into the into the into the global market, and these are things that. Um, you know, like it was, it was mind blowing for me, you know, and just uh, as I, as I looked more and more into the Cardano protocol, um, I began to see it as, um, you know, like as in three buckets, you know, like we have uh, for anything to happen at any time, you know, like uh, uh, for, for societies, for organizations, for, um, for, for countries, you know, there, there had to be those three buckets of who is who, uh, in terms of ID, you know, who owns what in terms of record keeping. Um, so that's the first bucket. And then the second bucket is sort of the financial or the financial stuff that comes with it in terms of, you know, uh, micro lending, uh, bringing goods to the market and all those things. And then, you know, at the, at the, at the, at the third bucket is sort of, um, uh, you know, risk mit mitigation in terms of insurance and health and stuff like that. So I just saw that you know, this Cardano, you know, the protocol and what they were they were trying to to build is really you know just covers the whole spectrum, and that was something that really um, uh, attracted me to um, a blockchain a technology and actually what it can it can do for Africa. One one of our, our mutual friends, Zach Wendell, you know, Josh. He said that, you know, like in Africa, every sector is ripe for disruption. You know, like it has been, uh, you know, like we, we, we pick and choose, you know, just because of the historical issues, you know, like with colonialism and all those things, um, we, we didn't build from first principles, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So right now it's like, you know, um, everything is just a mishmash kind of thing. But with blockchain, you know, we have, uh, this opportunity to start building from first principles. So that's 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 what drew me to 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 uh, you know blockchain technology, to Cardano and uh, what it can do for Africa. It's it's actually interesting and, and I think pretty clear to see that there is problems in Africa. That let's be honest, there is a lot of things yeah. as you say for some things we can say Africa is behind. Uh, compared yeah. to the to the West, but actually, thanks to uh, blockchain, you, we can imagine that things can be done. So actually, it's I understand that it's how you enter like in the blockchain, and then because there is like a lot of different protocols and different projects in Cardano, which actually have a, a very uh, Africa tropism about like we would like to do things on this. So it's one of the things that why you, you wanted to join this, this, this blockchain, right? Absolutely. So actually, uh, I think that now that we, we have an idea of uh, who you are, why you, or what you see, uh, like the potential of blockchain, perhaps we can uh, switch to actually what you are doing uh, in the blockchain. Uh, and my question would be like, um, why did you come up with this idea of WADA? Okay. Um, I'll tell you a story, uh, uh, Gwendo. When, um, when I was go growing up, you know, um, a young adult, um, you know, like in Africa, we go to church a lot. So uh, one day, you know, one Sunday, I uh, went to church and um, uh, the preacher, um, his name is uh, Dr. Mens Montable. 
he, he, he made a statement and that statement really stayed with me and, you know, for many, many years. Still, 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 you know, that I still, you know, still remember that statement. But what he said was that um, Africa is actually 200 years in terms of development behind uh, uh, the West. You know, at that time I hadn't, I had never traveled, you know, I was, um, uh, uh, you know, Ghana was the only uh, country that I knew. And it, it just made such a big impression on me because, you know, you think, oh my gosh, 200 years, when, when, whenever are we going to catch up? Anyway, so, you know, fast forward to um, um, 20, 2018 and, um, uh, you know, I mean, um, um, uh, you know, I've gotten to know about Cardano and then, I'm, you know, I'm hearing all these uh, possibilities uh, that could happen and I'm like, okay, okay, maybe, you know, this is, this is the game changer. This is how we can, you know, we can, uh, you know, catch up. And, um, you know, the yeah, Charles, uh, as we all know, uh, with IHK, they, they are doing, a, they, you know, since uh, 2018, they, they've been doing a lot of uh, focused work in, in East Africa. Um, they have a team there. Charles has done a lot of travels to that country. Um, Eastern, actually South, South, um, South Africa. And, you know, sometimes when Charles will be speaking, he will talk about, um, uh, you know, Nigeria. Sometimes he mentioned Ghana and I'm like, oh, good. You know, like one of these days they will, they will, um, uh, you know, not just East Africa, but it will also be uh, West Africa. But, um, you know, as time went on and, um, you know, now Charles wasn't talking too much about <laughs> <laughs> the countries in West Africa, but you know, like I, I, I realized that that like, the work is just so so big, and that uh, IOHK, you know, now their name is IOG. Um, it, it's not something that they can, you know, they can do um, the whole of Africa. You know, like um, um, you know, it's impossible. And this is blockchain. This is decentralized power to the edges. We all have the power. And I, I, I began to think back um, to what you know, the work they had been doing, you know, growing up in, in, in Ghana and how, you know, even though we're a really small uh, local organization with, you know, we did have some uh, international backing, we're able to do a lot um, mm -hmm. in, 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 in Ghana. So I'm like, you know, uh, maybe this is something that um, uh, uh, we can do. So I started, you know, dreaming and thinking about WADA. And then um, last year, uh, you know, like, you know, uh, uh, Cardano, as we are moving into uh, Voltaire and decentralization, and uh, 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 governance and funding, you know, it came with, you came up with this project catalyst, and I'm like, mm -hmm. yes, this is it. So, um, you know, um, I put my my thoughts more into writing, and then as I shared the dream, I had all these people, you know, joining, and uh, you know, now now I can see, you know, that okay, it's possible, and it's it's something that it will actually um, come to pass. Okay, that's, that's actually, and, and I think it's really important what you say about, there is Cardano, there is this vision of Africa, but it's decentralized and people have to seize the opportunity and to create things. Uh, we cannot only rely on uh, IOG to develop everything. So we can see that in Cardano, there is a lot of work which is done by developers, creating uh, application, creating like having vision, trying to a lot of different tools. But at the end, People who wants to create projects, who wants to develop things, have to seize those things. And it's what actually you did with, with Water. It's like, okay, exactly. I see there is a potential with, with blockchain, with Cardano. And then with Catalyst, actually, it's like a moment where you can pr uh, apply for funds, show your ID to the community, exactly. get something back. And I think it's actually like a, a great way of thinking. It's like not only waiting for things to happen, but like exactly. provoke them. Try to, to do exactly. that. So, and, and, and Gwenda, you know, um, uh, you, you know, like you look at, you know, Charles, right? And the dream that he has for, you know, I know that he's not, he's not African, but, you know, like he, 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 he led the building of this protocol. It was a dream. And, um, you know, like his, his, you know, IOG, they are doing all that they can to, 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 to make that dream happen. But sometimes once you share a dream, right? You, you just see people, um, you know, if they identify with their dream, you see them coming from all over, you know, 
congregating to, to make that dream come to pass. And in a way, that's what uh, WADA has been on a, on, a, on a smaller scale in West Africa. You know, like it, it's a dream. And then, you know, once uh, you write it down, you share it, you, you just see all these people that, um, 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 you know, want to come and, and build the dream. So, yeah. So that's actually really, really concrete. Like it's, you have the dream, like, let's say there was this dream for Africa with blockchain and you have your part of the dream and other people, people gather uh, within this uh, initiative, which is West Africa Decentralized Alliance. So can you tell us uh, a bit more in detail what are the, the, the objectives of, of WADA? What, what do you want to achieve? Okay, so um, I, I, in summary, I would say that we just want to create opportunity for West Africa, for West Africans, both, you know, on the continent and um, um, in the diaspora. And, you know, like as with uh, all dreams, you know, we know that it will spread uh, to the rest of Africa. And when Africa is, um, you know, has all these uh, opportunities, it, it, you know, it's just a matter of time. It spreads to, to other parts of the world. But for now, we are, you know, our dream is, is to focus um, uh, on West Africa. Um, so we, we have this uh, three words that we, 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 you know, like we, we use to guide us. It's, uh, you know, discover. Um, and, and um, you know, sometimes when, especially aid organizations, um, they do a lot of work um, in 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 in, um, in poorer uh, communities, but sometimes you know like it's, it's prescriptive. You know they have a, a solution and they you know like they, they they bring the solution. What we are trying to do is that we just want to um, you know like as I said we are we are a, a global international organization with a local footprint. So what we just just to go into the to, into the local communities you know to go to where the problems are, and then just to you know find out okay so what 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 are the field needs what are the issues you know and you know add uh, some education to it you know, add some marketing to it, you know, add some uh, 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 advocacy to it. So in that way, you know, like uh, working in partnership with local communities, you know, with governments, with um, institutions, we are able to discover what the issues are, what the problems are. And then we set, you know, in terms of we, we get ready, you know, in terms of, okay, how do we remove some of these barriers? How do we remove some of these problems? Um, and then that is when we go to the last bit, which is accomplish, you know, work with uh, local uh, organizations just to accomplish um, uh, 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 the, you know, sort of uh, bring the solutions, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. so, so work with local organizations, local communities, local governments and local entities just to uh, uh, bring um, uh, uh, some of these uh, solutions. Um, when we look at uh, uh, Cardano, you know, as a protocol, uh, we know about the foundation, we know about Emego, there are a lot of um, enterprise um, solutions that are being um, uh, developed, and uh, obviously we are not going to, um, you know, a sort of uh, uh, do what has been uh, done already, uh, and we, would we even be able to do it, you know, they've built uh, such a great uh, uh, protocol, so some of these enterprise solutions, that right now um, it might be rolling up in uh, rolling out in areas like Ethiopia. These are uh, some of uh, you know stuff that we we believe that we can you know we can bring into West Africa. Mm -hmm. You know there might be a time that um, uh, we, we can tell Charles Charles you know prepare the ground. You know can you send maybe. Um, uh, uh, somebody from 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 uh, East Africa, or maybe even the uh, the foundation, maybe you know the CEO of the foundation might, you know, we can say that you know come and you know talk to these governments and and stuff like that. So um, uh, it's what we would do at the local level, you know, with people, and it's also you know at the government at a higher level, we prepare the ground, we bring partners in as needed. Also, uh, another thing that we are we are looking to do. It's, um, it's funding, you know, like funding access for developers and businesses so that they can actually build on the, on the, on, on the Cardano protocol. A lot of the challenges that we have in uh, Africa and in West Africa, people have, have dreams, right? They have solutions, but sometimes just the capacity or the funding or 
um, you know, um, the ability to just put some of these um, uh, dreams into reality becomes um, uh, difficult. So that's also uh, some of the things that we, 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 we are looking to be doing, um, just uh, connect people who are aware of the, of the problems, they have the solutions, just connect them with the capacity and the capability to actually be able to build uh, uh, local solutions. Um, and one of the ways that we are actually uh, focusing on doing this is just to create some of these hubs. Um, right now, we know that there is a lot of that, uh, those hubs going, you know, happening all over um, uh, Africa, in East Africa. We want to really accelerate some of that. Mm -hmm. in, in West Africa, whereby we, we equip uh, the developers, you know, we're quick uh, business startups to um, you know, just just you know, don't worry about the electricity, don't worry about the internet, you know, just come to this space that we are creating and just you know find out what's what's on the blockchain, you know, what is possible, start dreaming, start asking, you know, what, what, what can we do, what can we build? So those are the things that we we, we are looking at um, at at uh, 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 bringing. You know, there 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 are so many more, um, and it's difficult to just um, you know go through all of that. But I, at a very uh, a basic level, a sort of a, a top a top down, a bottom up a sort of approach whereby we. Um, you know, we uh, uh, we equip, we enable, we create opportunity and make dreams come true. That's, that's awesome. I, I really like the make dreams come true because <laughs> actually like, uh, I think it's really important for, for, for us as community member to try to create stuff. And as you say, for us, sometimes in the West, uh, it's difficult to, to understand that, but Africa has a lot of potential. There is a lot of great minds, but sometimes they just don't have access to something as basics for us as, as you say, electricity or internet. Yeah. And of course, in the world where now, if you don't have like a stabilized access to all these things, it's a big barrier. So you have the, you have the mind, you have the ability because there is a lot of people who have IT uh, skills, but yeah. they cannot really express them. So like actually creating this opportunity. And once again, it's not making the work for them, I guess. It's more giving them the opportunity. And as you say, you have that connection with NGOs, you are developing things with university, I think you said it, and exactly. with government. And then you just like give this little push in the back just, just to help people to, to develop their things. So yeah, I, I think it makes a lot of sense. And and, and yeah, it's definitely our part as community member in Cardano to just allow this because we cannot like just let IOG works at the government level. We also have to help the developers, exactly. not only developers, also people who have IDs because it's the people we want to push at the end. So um, I think that the, the division for, for, for what is, is pretty clear. Perhaps you can tell us a bit about uh, the team you created for, for what I, because I think it's, uh, it's already like a big team and you, and you gather already a lot of talent. So I think it would be interesting if you can uh, tell us a bit about the team. Okay. Um, okay. To make this easier, I will, uh, I will sort of uh, develop, um, sort of, you know, divide it into the implementation and the, you know, sort of implementation country teams. And then we have a volunteer advisory team. So in terms of the um, implementation team on a country basis, um, uh, okay, so there's myself, um, uh, you know, sort of more um, um, international. Um, and then um, a, a co-founder, his name is Josh Fielding. Um, so he is the, the global project lead. Uh, he, he, comes from, uh, he comes to us from the startup world. Um, very detail-oriented guy. You know, he keeps me task focused. <laughs> he's um, uh, he's great. And, and then um, you know, uh, on the Ghana uh, level, we have the, the country lead. Uh, her name is uh, Efia Rasmus Owusu, uh, and um, he um, uh, she uh, is somebody that I worked with. Um, you know, uh, many years ago uh, when I, I I worked with NGO. And you know, when I shared this dream with her, she 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 knew what I was talking about because she saw what a, a group of uh, local passionate people can actually achieve achieve, 
uh, you know, at, at the local level. She, she comes with a lot of experience. She's worked with um, a lot of uh, international organizations. At, at some point, he, she was actually uh, responsible for 17 African countries. So she knows that kind of, um, you, know, um, uh, you know, bringing people together, networking and um, uh, information flow and, and, and stuff like that. Um, also in Ghana, we have uh, Jacob Tete. Um, uh, he is uh, a designer, uh, but since we started WADA, you know, he, he was he was just so passionate. You know, he he, he was just developing all these um, uh, website uh, development skills. Uh, he he's the first person actually that um, I started talking about WADA with. Uh, he's very embedded in the in the Cardano community. He's he's been there, you know, for 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 many years. And I actually saw him on on Twitter, and you know, I saw his name, and I knew that was a Ghanaian name. So I just uh, got a, a a hold of him, and because he has this passion, you know, it, it was very easy to. Uh, start working with him. He's putting a lot, lots and lots of volunteer hours into, into WADA. And um, uh, he's somebody that I, I very much appreciate. Um, um, he, he's also um, our sick pool uh, lead. Uh, we have uh, some support in terms of a sponsorship from um, Cardano uh, sick pool XYZ, but um, um, he, uh, you know, Jacob is the, is the, is the local uh, uh, contact guy. And then we also have Daniel, um, and he is uh, a developer, and he's a young man, and he is uh, going to be a developer lead uh, in Ghana. In, um, in Cameroon, we have um, uh, uh, Felician uh, Manfo, Fachio Manfo. Um, they, they, this is um, you know, a very brilliant uh, 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 guy, in lots and lots of dreams. Uh, he's also somebody that uh, you know we got in touch uh, through the Cardano community, and um, you know he has he already has all these dreams that he was working on. He has his own team, you know his his co partner, um, uh, uh, Megan and uh, Fabrice and uh, Didier and Yambe. So they are all in. Um, um, uh, uh, Didi and Yambe are in, in, in Cameroon and the rest of them are sort of in the diaspora, uh, you know, getting ready to all get together in Cameroon uh, by, by end of March thereabouts. But, you know, he, he brings such passion and such dreams to, um, um, uh, to WADA. Um, and, you know, he, he was just one of those that, you know, he reached out, he said that, you know, we are, we are, we are technical people. We want somebody who would do the, the rest of the stuff, you know, like the marketing uh, stuff and the education stuff and, the, uh, you know, the advocacy stuff. So they have become part of the team and we, we feel really blessed to have them. Um, in addition to this, we have the volunteer advisory group. So, so these are, um, right now there are three of them. Uh, we love them deeply because they just um, they are just uh, you know we, we 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 are not budgeting for them because um, you know they just believe in our dream and they just want to keep us on the straight and narrow. We have um, uh, Virginia G. Uh, she is uh, 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 yeah, you know one of the team members of um, uh, Cardano State Pool uh, X Y Z. And then we also have, and, and Virginia is helping us quite a lot with, um, with uh, social media engagement uh, and then some other, you know, funding um, and, and stuff like that. Uh, we also have uh, Sidney Nicholas. Um, uh, he, uh, he's in the U.S. Uh, he's worked uh, for many years with uh, uh, Fortune 500 uh, companies, and uh, he's very... Um, uh, you know, when it comes to marketing and analytics and stuff like that, he's your guy. And uh, last but not the least is uh, we have uh, Professor Wusu. Um, so he is uh, based out of Ghana. He is uh, an associate dean in one of the um, uh, one of the departments um, in, in 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 it's actually one of our our best universities in Ghana, University of Ghana, and um, he's also the head of. Um, um, uh, yeah, I forgot the, the, the full name, but he's also um, a head of a, an institute in, in the in University of Ghana, and he is actually uh, uh, our um, academic advisor. So you know, through through him, we are hoping that we'll be able to reach out to the to the some of the other uh, universities and colleges um, uh, uh, throughout Ghana and uh, West Africa. So yeah, so th that's that's the team um, every day. 
we we are expanding. Um, we we keep um, you know we keep getting messages that over the weekend I I am um, I, I responded to um, a, a team that we might be getting from Nigeria. We are very very excited about. I think they are also a team. So um, uh, right now, you know, as I said, um, we, we build the team. Uh, or we build a dream and we just keep having uh, all these uh, people, you know, coming to join us and, and helping to make uh, the dream possible. That's actually impressive on how you are able like to create already like such a, such an important team. And, and with what's, yeah. what's really interesting for me and, and important is that you are actually a team with a different set of skills. So which, which which cover a lot of uh, a large spectrum, because I think that actually when you want to onboard people, you cannot only do it with devs or you can only do it with people with IDs. You know, you have exactly. to mix a bit of, of the two and actually with uh, academics. I think it's also really interesting if you want to spread the word, if you want to people learn about it uh, and at the same time having uh, access with, with people in NGOs and, and I think it's it's really brilliant and on top which is even more difficult it's like having this in several countries so it's like it's like really really impressive and I think it's going the, 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 the right way and on top of that if you allow me I would like to to add as well that amongst the community you are also creating opportunities and you make people working together and talk to each other for instance I take our own case at Proof of Africa or uh, with ABCD uh, in Nigeria, we are actually often talking with you and we are trying to create this comprehensive and overall uh, African community where you make people talk to each other and try not to make them competitors, but instead partners. So you might work on the same field or something, but instead of like just competing, you can work together, have discussions, and through your network, being able to either tap into like some developers because they need some specific skills or an NGO or so I would also like to to highlight that because like you are creating the links and I think it's important for the for the community. So perhaps you can tell us a bit about your, your vision about creating links between between different members. I think it's interesting. Thank you. And um, Aguando, you say it so well. And um, it's also the spirit that you also bring, right? Like you are somebody that also has that um, sort of global, global view. And I, I really appreciate it. You are, you are, you know, you are a networker and um, you teach us all so much. So, so thank you uh, for all you do as well. Um, so, you know, like within the Cardano community, oh my gosh. So um, like, and it's actually Catalyst, you know, Project Catalyst that made me see that the passion, the skills, the knowledge, and all these people that, um, you know, like in, in real life, I might never have had the opportunity to meet. But just because of the, the ecosystem and, you know, everybody comes to build, you know, we've, we've made a lot of these um, uh, formal, you know, some, there are some formal uh, uh, links that we, 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 we've made, as well as, you know, every day, just by virtue of just, uh, you know, hanging around with people, you know, you build relationships and, you know, you never know in the future when you need, you need those people. So we, we, we take everybody uh, seriously, you know, um, yeah, we don't see somebody is too big and we don't see somebody is too small. We know that everybody brings, uh, you know, a, a skill, they bring value um, because to the person that you think is small today, um, you don't know, you know, like in, 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 in a few years, you don't know where that, 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 that person will be. So, yeah, but in addition to that, you know, as you've said, uh, Wendell, uh, we have a very good um, uh, working relationship with uh, ABCD, uh, Proof of Africa. We are very, very interested in, in what you guys are doing. I'm always teasing um, uh, Josh. Uh, Josh, you know, just make sure that what you're doing in Nigeria succeeds because as soon as it's, it's, it's all done, you know, like we, we pick it and then uh, we, we bring it to Ghana and we spread it to the rest of Africa. So um, that's something that uh, a, a relationship with ABCD is very, is very important to us. Um, also, um, AfroFin Lab, uh, right now we sort of a, a podcast sort of a, a organization, but um, uh, ultimately uh, the, the, the goal is for it to become a, a media, a financial education company. And just that in AfroFin Lab, just a small team, 
Uh, there's just, oh my gosh, the passion and the skills just within that is also just just uh, uh, crazy. We also have a, a, a Gimbal Labs um, and they, uh, you know, they, they are just also doing fantastic work and they will be helping us especially when it comes to the hands-on uh, developer training. We have a very good uh, working relationship with the, with the liquid uh, funding, you know, the, the, the founding team. We also uh, have a, a good relationship through Afrofina with uh, SoMint. It's sort of an art. Uh, NFT, um, you know, like we know that uh, NFT is, is sort of the future and we're seeing how um, uh, that's going to uh, pan out because you know, as, as, as you're aware, uh, Wendell, all these, um, uh, you know, when we talk about the illiquid wealth in, in, in Africa, in West Africa, a lot of it is, you know, creative stuff. A lot of it's, you know, like commodities that need to come to the market. And it, it will be through, you know, the uh, NFT um, sort of um, uh, paradigm that um, will be able to capture a lot of these, uh, you know, a lot of these uh, uh, value that's that's locked in 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 uh, West Africa. Um, least, uh, you know, last but not the least, in terms of the sort of local within Cardano community um, uh, partnerships, Red Token, Gwenda, we don't have to forget about Red Token. So um, that's that's an amazing uh, initiative. I know that you are a co-founder, and you know you, you you guys reached out to WADA that you know like we should join in terms of uh, you know once we start rolling out, uh, we will we'll be helping you know sort of to bring in um, as, uh, you know to 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 spread it you know to 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 broaden that. Um, I just sort of outside the Cardano ecosystem, we also have a partnership with the Blockchain Education Network. Mm -hmm. So this is an, uh, a network that has been around for um, many years, uh, six years plus. And what they do, you know, they specialize, they have a niche market. They go to uh, colleges, they go to uh, universities, and they just establish these blockchain, um, uh, uh, blockchain chapters. They equip them, they give them education, they let them know of um, uh, 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 employment opportunities, you know, and uh, they're doing really, really well. Um, they, they've, they've just um, entered um, uh, the African, the African um, uh, University academic um, uh, system, and um, they, are, they, are, they are working with us and we feel really, really um, blessed to have them. We also have um, Vincent, he is somebody that worked uh, well, he's a co-founder of Smart Chain. We're also in um, uh, uh, talks with him. There are so many other uh, others in the pipeline. Sorry that I've, I've gone on and on, but yeah, so um, I, I hope I haven't left anybody out. Um, yeah, so I, I, I think that that's, that's about the partners. It's actually amazing and it's good for us because it's going to give us a lot of opportunity of interviews because there is a lot of, a lot of different <laughs> other people working. It's like, no, no, it's, it's really amazing. And I think it's one thing which is really important. It's like creating this network, creating this relation between people and it's only going to push the thing forward and to help projects to grow and to help projects to find support and stuff. So I think it's, it's definitely uh, the way to proceed and it's good for uh, Africa for West Africa first but I think then as you say once we try pilot projects in several locations we can can easily duplicate it in other countries exactly. the context is not necessarily exactly the same so there is adjustment to do but the overall idea if it works and we have a solid pilots then we can do that again in, in other countries yeah, so I think it's 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 really the really the, the way to go. Um, I think that we we covered or you covered uh, a lot of aspects from from what I. So I think it's it's going to be clear in people's mind what you're doing, and also like uh, also they should feel I think free to to reach uh, to reach out to you or to to your team members to if people have ideas. Uh, I will try to add in the description uh, some of the the different uh, initiative you mentioned. Uh, I'm thinking especially to AfroFin Lab uh, yeah. because there is doing a, a great work. There is like uh, hours of great content. So and I yeah. think there is not a lot of people subscribing and following. So I'm going to just trying to, to help because I think there is a lot of interesting, interesting things. Sorry. 
Thank um, you. Perhaps uh, to to finish now, uh, we could like try to to conclude a bit. So so I don't know if you if you would like to kind of sum up uh, the whole thing in in two three sentences, like about what I just saw. Just like a catchy uh, conclusion, just just just, just the, the the main aspects you would like the people to to know if they think of what and they need to remember three things. What what would it be? Okay, so um, I, I uh, so so the message we want to send out, and just because this is blockchain, and right now we are looking for funding from um, uh, the Cardano uh, community. I I just want to say something very short about the fact that. Um, you know, like this initially is a three-year plan, but we are going to be self-sustaining after three years because we're looking at stuff like, you know, tokenization. Um, we're looking at becoming like, like a sort of an incubator, a VC-like entity. So we are asking for the support for now, but it's not going to be a forever support. The, in blockchain, there's always an avenue to become uh, self-sustainable. So that's the first thing. Um, uh, the second thing that I want to I want to say is, um, and this is something that uh, Emmanuel for so the team lead in um, in Cameroon, he says something that we add to multiply, and I just love that. You know, like just every person that we add. Or every entity that we add is, is you know, like in blockchain, uh, we, we understand X, right? It's a 10X, you know, it's a 100X. So um, we, 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 we are just um, uh, looking for, for, for people, especially in West Africa, in the diaspora to, to join us. You know, they come and they are autonomous, you know, bring your dream and we, 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 we will help uh, enable that to, to, to happen. The last thing that I want to say is just to um, give a shout out to a great group of people within the Cardano community. They do lots and lots and lots of work. They are actually within the Catalyst uh, community. They are called uh, community advisors. Without some of them, you know, what that wouldn't be what it is now because, you know, like they read uh, the proposal and then they bring in their comments and they bring in their suggestions on how to improve. So. Uh, Gwenda, when you look into idea scale and you see uh, what are the way it is, uh, it took a lot of uh, uh, people and a lot of thoughts just to uh, get it to to this point. So, so we feel very, very grateful um, to um, you know Project Catalyst uh, team lead uh, Dor, as well as the community uh, advisors. I think it's it, it was really important to 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 say that because. Uh, I think it's uh, it's the same for several people who apply for for Catalyst. At the beginning, to to be honest, we did it with ABCD. It was okay. There is fun, and it's within Cardano. And, but we learned so much more. Uh, it's not not enough. Uh, not necessarily only about the money. Now it's more. We put, like we show our IDs, and people come and say, oh, "Okay, but you should like dig a bit more into this, or you should exactly. change into this." And exactly. that has actually no price, especially for exactly. small small entities. And it's a huge amount of work, and people they do that basically voluntarily. Exactly. Which is, which is you know, sometimes we, we are like a bit annoyed by the fact that the world is too greedy for a lot of things. And sometimes you have this little light showing that oh, exactly. actually there is people who just want to help, just want exactly. things to do better. Exactly, exactly. So I think that. Yeah, we, we can conclude on this actually. It's like a, a nice way of finishing. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you very much, Mercy. It was really interesting. Mm -hmm. I think people have a better view of what you are trying to, to create with WADA. And then I will know that I think if they have ideas, they are more than welcome to, to join. So thank you very much. No, thank you. Thank you so much, Grandor, for having me. It, it's a real pleasure. And I'm pretty sure we're going to talk to each other really soon. Very, very soon. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.